Life Lessons for Couples by Cindy Francis. Show your love by listening. Don't wait until Friday night to be loving. Be loving all the time. Accept each other as they are. Be your partner's best friend and respect each other and show it by showing each other respect. Help without being asked. Words your partner would like to hear more often is, I have faith in you. I love you. And you did a fine job. And thank you. Appreciate what you have. Make time to be alone with each other. Cuddle early in the evening and before you're too tired. If what you're doing isn't working, try something else. Look for win-win solutions. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. So take time now for your family. When you need help, speak up. It's not enough to just say I love you. Live your love by being considerate and kind. Leave your job and its problems at the office. Love is never. Love has good manners. And at parties, pay more attention to your partner than anyone else. And if you are having problems, figure out first the role you are playing. Always make your partner feel special and give more love than you'll ever expect on getting love. Give more love and you'll get more love. And if you're not sure whether to say something, don't. Kindness is love in action. Share your feelings. Call during the day just to say I love you. 50-50 isn't enough. You have to give 100% each if you want to have a great relationship. Turn the TV off and take time and talk together. You're part of the couple. You're part of a couple, but be your own person as well. Picture yourself as older, looking back at your life together. What do you wish you have done? Do it now. If you're not happy, negotiate for change. Say positive affirmations about each other in your relationship. Have fun together and have making fun a priority. Keep courting each other after marriage. Never go to bed angry. Your sweetheart needs touching and affection in and out of the bedroom. And always take each other's feelings into consideration. Kiss each other every night before turning out the lights. And plan together for the future. And work to plan to and work to make plans come true. Treat your partner at least as well as you treat your friends. Keep up with individual hopes and dreams and brag about each other. If your mate is always busy, make appointments to see each other. When your partner tells you a problem, don't rush in with a solution. Often they just want to be heard. Pay attention to how often you interrupt and do it less. Turn up the stereo and practice slow dancing. Be loving even if you don't feel particularly loving. When, discussing, when discussions get too hot, call a time out. Bring home flowers to your sweetheart and view the problems of life as it gives you challenges to be faced together. It's okay to change your mind and when you're conversating, give your undivided attention and it takes 72 muscles to frown and only 23 to smile. Smiling has much more pleasurable results. Your time and attention are the most important gifts that you can give and accept changes in your relationships and work them out positive. Visualize a bright future for the two of you. Give gifts that reflect the special knowledge of your partner and assure your partner often that you care. Let your mate know that you care and by how you act. Look at what's good and in your partner and praise it. Support each other's growth. When your partner comes home, drop what you're doing and give him a big welcome at the door. Your partner will only satisfy some of your needs. Look to others for the rest. Make Valentine's Day, Valentine's Week. And if you want your mate to understand you, talk about yourself more. Hinting hardly ever works. The best way to get what you want is to ask for it. To encourage your mate to talk, number one, as you're listening, ask yourself, what is he feeling? What is she's saying then answer whichever question seems more important you sound upset number three let your partner correct you or confirm that you are right for every day's to-do list put in talk listen help out kiss and hug compliment and express your love honest is important but be tactful honesty is important but be tactful assure your partner you'll always be there spend more time with other couples with whom can laugh and joke Write little love notes to each other and leave them on the driver's seat, in the refrigerator, or on the favorite food, or on a pillow inside your mate's purse or wallet. Try roller skating together. Get your partners talking about asking about a hobby or a sport that's in your interests. One evening, hire a student who plays the violin to perform while the two of you enjoy candlelit dinner. Cuddle in a drive-in movie. Show you're on your partner's side. Give up trying to control the other person. The only person you can really ever control is you. Get up early and watch the sunrise. When criticism is true, agree with it. You're right. I am late. Share your fantasies. Be honest with each other. During tough times, think about how you fell in love in the first place and dwell on those things. I love you are words your partner most wants to hear. Treat each other in an I'm okay, you're okay manner. When you feel angry, cool down before you speak up. Always treat each other in a I'm okay, you're okay manner. Express appreciation of for favors. Touch more. Touching often expresses sentiment that words alone can't convey. Volunteer together to help a favorite charity. Base your relationship on your commitment to each other, not only the feelings of love. That way, as you're feeling for each other's rise or fall, they surely will 
is your relationship will still be secure. Instead of arguing, do problem solving. Cuddle while you watch TV. When your partner makes a mistake, don't say, I told you so. Surprise your mate with a spontaneous kiss. Take dance lessons together. Every once in a while, baby each other. Just because you're angry doesn't mean you're right. And when something goes wrong, instead of assembling blame, focus on how to do it better the next time. Set aside time to be loving. Play enchanted evenings or romantic board games for couples. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. And it's easier in the long run to face your responsibilities. Do what makes your partner feel loved. And if you don't, what it is, then ask. Tell your partner when you need extra attention. And give a back rub without being asked. Cherish each other. Cut out articles that are likely to interest your partner. Buy tickets, but don't say for what. The most waiting and surprise will be almost as fun as the event. Read what you don't understand. Women and men are in conversations to learn better ways to communicate. Give your mate love coupons. Good for flowers, kisses, massages, etc. Be an encourager. What your partner needs most is appreciation, admiration, acceptance, encouragement, understanding, love, to be cherished and to be cared for. Make decisions when you're calm, never when you're angry, and let your mate know that it's safe to tell you everything. Give lots of hugs. View your mate as a companion to enjoy life with, not a possession to ignore. When you feel shortchanged, examine whether you've been, whether you have unrealistic expectations. Be on the lookout for ways to make life more fun. Write a poem. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to have your feelings in it. Focus on what's right, not who's right. And try our new restaurants. Try new restaurants. Rather than give good advice, set a good example. Put a dimmer on the bedroom light switch. Some people express love by working hard. Let them know you understand that. Cook your sweetheart's favorite meal. Share what life like when you were children. Share what life was like when you were children. Watch 30s romance movies together. Anything with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers will do fine. Be grateful for your partner's love. Remember when you didn't have it. Take vacations often, even if it's just one night at a bed and breakfast. List all the ways to your partner that enriches your life and share your list. And don't make sex the last item on your to-do list. To see each other's point of view, role play, being the other person. Be tolerant. You'll both be fallible human beings. Find something to like about each other's friends. Nurture the child in your partner. Exercise together. Help your partner fulfill personal goals. View money as belongings to both of you, no matter who made it. More words for your partner, and more words your partner would like to hear more often is, you can do it. You're looking good. How can I help? And I'm proud of you. Earn more than you spend. Respect the fact that your love needs are different, and they differ. Honor each other's differences rather than try to change them. And rent a rowboat and enjoy a romantic hour on the lake. Save for tomorrow. Don't go completely without today. Be action-oriented. Instead of waiting for things to happen, work to make them happen. Read the wonderful love chapter in The Road Less Traveled for a realistic assessment of love and what it requires of us. Read the wonderful love chapter in The Road Less Traveled. Go through objects each of you have saved from the past and talk about why they are special to you. Trust each other and be worthy of trust. Judge each other by the compassion, not by the standard of perfection. If both of you have jobs, it's only fair that you both share the housework. Work out a specific agreement to who does what. Have a date night, once a week. Flirt more. Consideration and kindness out of bed help promote good feelings in bed. See the opportunities inside of problems. Hold hands. Mark anniversaries and birthdays on your date book and calendar. And that way, you won't forget. Let your partner unwind after a long day and bring the problems after dinner. Instead of confronting each other on an opposite side of a table, learn to share the same side of the table and confront the problems on the other side of the table. Fighting fair dues. Take turns talking. Bring up only a problem at a time. Focus on the present. Express how you feel. And restate your mate's points to his satisfaction before voicing your own opinions. Fighting fair don'ts. Interrupt. Label your mate his or her behavior ideas. Threaten. Tell your mate his or her motives is delib you deliberately. Don't ever shout, swear, or hit. Write down the things that have been happiest in doing together in the past and do those things more often. Be close, but always keep some space for yourself. Learn to forgive. Respect the privacy of each other's purse, wallet, papers, and mail. And once in a while, each of you have a day from which is yours, and on that day you get treated extra nice and you get to choose from both or what both of you will do. Make your own birthday, anniversary, New Year's, Valentine's Day cards and write how you feel. Even if it's not a holiday, write a love note to your sweetheart. Learn to make your... Self happy instead of relying on your partner. Bike ride together in the countryside. Learn some foreign words and phrases so you have a secret language the two of you can use. Meet problems together head on. Look for the brightest star and make a wish. Turn your weaknesses into strengths by filling in where each other is lacking. Start a hobby together. Realize you both want to do the same thing, to love and be loved, to contribute and to appreciate, to have fun and feel secure. Asking for help doesn't mean you're weak, just intelligent. 
Take a bath together, complete a jasmine scented oils with scented candles and soft music. And if you care, speak in a caring way. Overlook each other's flaws, remembering that you have your own flaws. Share your dreams and don't take each other for granted. There is no perfect love out there waiting for you, so enjoy the one that you have. And when you hurt your partner, say you're sorry. Dress up for each other. And when you present, present a gift, wrap it beautifully with effort. That'll be appreciated. You may not always agree, but always hear each other out. You teach each other how to treat. You teach each other how to treat you. And if you refuse to accept bad treatment, it will stop. Never assume marriage will change each other or either of you. You can make mistakes and still be okay. Avoid comparing yourself with other couples. You never know the truth about them, and it's wiser just to enjoy your own happiness. Humor is healing, and it's fun too. Get a guidebook for your area and explore the places that you just haven't ever been. Put each other on the before all others, including your parents and friends list. When things go wrong, accept your part of the responsibility. Show your own conversation by keeping your legs and arms uncrossed. Share your open with the conversation. Buy gifts that say, I love you. No, po no, po no pots and pans. To be interesting, be interested. Admire each other's achievements. Thanks, thank your partner for compliments and kind gestures, and you'll get more of them. Not all of your mate's problems are problems. Sometimes it's better to be uninvolved. Have your partner as a best friend, not your only friend, and play tennis on or ping pong together. Nurture and protect the things that you love about your partner, and ask yourself how you can add to your relationship instead of more of what you can get from it. Never bring up past loves. Peace at any price leads to temporary peace at a high price. Better to work things out. Spend your energy fixing problems rather than assigning blame. Have a love affair with your mate. There's no perfect harmony in marriage, only in a series of adjustments. Use things, not people. Love people, not things. Recognize each other's contributions to family and surprise your partner with breakfast in bed. Give your love unconditionally. Take time to yourself, too. Happy marriages come from balanced exchanges. And if you feel resentful, start asking for what you want more of. And if you feel guilty, start giving more. Give more massages. Go on lots of walks together arm in arm. And thank your partner for doing household chores. Be faithful. Go to bed early and talk in the dark. Buy frivolous little things that your partner wouldn't buy for her or himself. Propose a toast to your mate, even though you're the only one with a glass of water. Write each other a note saying how much you feel and the other person has changed your life for the better. Better view things that go wrong and unfortunate, not horrible. Most of what we awfulize about, we won't even remember in a few days. Focus on the 90% that's right, not the 10% that isn't. Have a professional photo taken of you and your partner. Your relationship is like a bank account and you have to put into it before you can take out of it. Cuddle off in, even when you don't want to have sex. Take in more live together and go watch live theater. The time you spend counts far more for money than you spend. Now keep a scrapbook of your favorite moments together and look through the rainy days. If expressions that you're feeling is hard for you, then write them out. Set aside time for romance and let your partner know where you could, that you find them attractive. And it's okay to disagree. Your mate comes from home from a trip. Put up a poster that says, Welcome Home. Reaffirm your vows in the front of your friends and family and develop common goals. Take the phone off the hook during intimate moments and ask more open-ended questions. They begin with how and why and tell me about. And they encourage your partner to be open. And they encourage your partner to open up. So tell me about the highlight of your day today and why are you so eager to see the exhibit. Don't ask two open-ended questions. They are f asking for too much information. All you want to do is get one or two word answers. But tell me about your day. That's what, you know, what's new at work. Be outrageous once in a while. The best way to encourage your partner is to change is to change yourself. The first task is to manage your own life and flatter your partner. When your mate's almost done bathing, sneak a towel out of the bathroom and warm it up in the dryer. Have priorities and make love the first, not the last. And your feelings come from thinking. If you change the way your thoughts are about your mate, your feelings will change. Instead of criticizing that about things you don't like, praise what you do like. Tackle problems early while they're small, while they still have lots of good feelings in them. Together, write out 10 things that you'd love to do together, and then get started doing them. And always take care of each other. Life Lessons for Couples